all right folks how's it going welcome to another vlog first of all I want to show you the shed of dreams just to show you what I've got here um, you know some of you riders might be interested so let's have a look shall we as you can see Ian is on thorough guard right there none shall pass right start on this wall got all the memorabilia from years and years and years of riding and racing some real old stuff here um, all the old photos stuff and invi invites from stuff in the old days etc look at that Mulvins Classic 98 Mulvins Classic 99 got like a dirt park that was nearly gonna happen but never did by Royal uh, all loads of stuff going on there and then all the old bikey pictures old bikes I used to ride some weird and wonderful things when I wrote for Dirt Magazine Cortina Rally Stakes Turner Kona my first one there bought that off Titley Santa Cruz whatever it was Heckler or something I don't know um, yeah, so loads of cool memorabilia. Rocky Mountain down here. That was actually what I think that's probably the fastest I ever felt I've ridden on that Rocky Mountain in Scotland. Um, Orange, when I ran the dirt team. Orange back in the day. And then obviously all the motorbikey stuff from my hair scrambling days. It was like five, six years of doing all that. So we move over here. Sorry about the glare from the. Uh, window trophy central modern ones old school ones dragon downhill mini enduro lots of wor world of racing that's the motorbikey stuff mini bikes uh, i like to keep a lot of this memorabilia these things that you get given after some races stuff from shows media bits and pieces this you'll like Come along here, we've got all the stuff here from Fenwicks. Obviously they look after us, so they give us loads of tack for keeping the bikes nice. More memorabilia, this is all from um, all this kind of stuff. This from going to all the shows as a supposed journalist. Bike Park Wales. How many times have you been? <laughs> a bit few. And stuff like this that you get when you get new wheels and go to events. There's bits and pieces. What else have we got? Okay. This is totally new. I had a delivery from Fibrax. Got support from them now. And that's also that's their lovely cables. You should check them out actually. Quite interesting how their cables work compared to normal ones. Over here. Still got that prototype. Uh, printed mudguard from RRP. Got these from JH Matlock. That he did for me and Todd and this is one of the rotors I ordered the wrong size it's 203 my front I got a 180 but that's some fiber back so I got the one on the back which we fitted today just gonna try that out all my kit mine and Todd's kit keep under the bench all labeled up kind of so we know what's what spares lots of bits and pieces down here all kinds of shizzle the big toolbox, to be honest, this was more for when I was motorbike racing, but I do still use some of it a fair bit. Up here, probably shouldn't say this, but I'm going to anyway. Broken frame. She's busted up, bro. Got to keep her. Don't know how long I will now have said that. The Troy Lee, after the Troy Lee sponsorship last year. Some cool t-shirts. Check this out, guys. That's right, I'm a black belt in uh, paper folding. <laughs> David Knight, signed t-shirt somewhere. Mert Lawwell, signed t-shirt, check him out. Proper cool guy, Dawn to Dusk, finisher. Other bits and pieces, race tops, DMRX. Uh, what else have we got? Todd's bike hanging up there, fitted with the new rotors. Uh, Fox Hunt, Enduro Mag, Enduro Mag, 
the Isle of Man top, and then we come on to the race numbers. I've never counted these up, but there's, um, I'm sure you've seen them in all my videos, there's a lot of them. Helmets up the top, like so. Couple of tyres here and there. Yeah, quite a few tyres. And I've got like my tyres here that are in this bag for when I go to races, spares. And finally, back round here, we got the toolkit. Love this. This is from Toe Peak. This is this goes to every race, and I use it in here. It's so handy. So let's go in the house and see what's been happening there because Pinned has a new office. Okay. It's going to get a bit bright for a minute because we're out in the sun. Come on in. Right. So this is alleyway walk from the shed and I'll just spin it round right okay what have we got the pond this is all new all this because of putting the new office in I lost space in my lean to which is here so this is the new pinned office that is proper cool you should check these out Jeff War, the photographer, he knocked this up together. All the top world kind of um, the helmets from the top riders around the world, downers and enjoy racers. My old one that was painted up years ago from dirt. Uh, a couple of select trophies, 2001. Second master and the dragon downhill. Mert Lawwell signed photo. One of the kids, of course. Got to have the kids in the office. DMRX, second overall from the first one. That ain't going to happen now that pros are doing it ever again. Um, and I've clad it. It's all timber clad, this office. Did it all myself. Dead chuffed with it. It's gone for the sort of raw look, you know, a bit like a Swedish whatever. Uh, got the boiler in here. And... Um, so this is where the magic happens this is the desk for success just made that up so that's the office and as I made the office I had to extend the shed so that's a new shed there that I've just built nearly finished just got to felt the roof and finally our youngest member Todd has had um, we've had like a loft conversion done and he's had like a new room in there. I want to show you this because it's kind of bikey and cool. And I know a lot of you like Todd. He's a bit of a star. So let's go and have a look at his room. Hi, I'm Todd. Welcome to MTP Cribs. And this is my new loft converted room built by Pin's own Sonny Baston. Look at the stairs. I did the carpet tiles. <laughs> Mrs. did the funky uh, wallpaper on the backs of them. So we got this was just like a loft a few months ago. Whoa! Look at that. Now it's always hard to film with a dark inside and a bright background, so it will look a bit crap. So we need to spin this round. So on the wall we have one of J.H. Matlock's uh, prints that he did for us. Todd's orange. We have also, try and get out the reflection, hopped in on one of the trail maps they kindly sent us. And then he's got his special wall done with scaffold board. I like it here. All these daft pictures. Especially like in this one. <laughs> Did your mother do that? Yeah. Where's your clothes? All down there. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Proper bit of coolness. And what have we used on the floor? Um, just like foam mats. Those things you get in the gym. So thanks for the tour of your room. It wasn't a very good uh, description, Todd, considering it's MTB Cribs. <laughs> 